However, the elephant in the room is another country in the region that has used chemical weapons but has not yet ratified that convention, Israel. Earlier I spoke to Ken O'Keefe, prominent anti-war activist, political analyst and former U.S. Marine. I first asked him why there's been no pressure at all on Israel to ratify this treaty. Israel in fa enjoys the favor of the court systems, the, the mainstream media, the governments of the world, uh, and primarily the Western governments. And ultimately, this is how they can get away with bloody murder, because it's beyond hypocrisy now, isn't it? And if any nation should be involved in disarming, it, it, it isn't even Israel, number one. It should be the United States. Nobody is using weapons of mass destruction more than the United States, and yet it's involved in disarming another nation. This is, for me, beyond hypocrisy. This is why the first nation to disarm should be the United States and Israel and Britain and the other major weapons producers. You served in the Gulf War as a U.S. Marine. Let's take it back a little bit and kind of find out how you got to where you are. In 2001, you attempted to renounce your U.S. citizenship. How did that evolution from being a Marine, serving, going to that um, come about? I had a, an experience in the Marine Corps where I was being punished for having speaking out about something, and it, it radically transformed me. It, it made me start to question things that before I hadn't questioned. If I was wrong about the Marine Corps, what else might I be wrong about? And as I studied history, I realized that my nation had been involved in so many horrendous activities that were anything but uh, geared towards justice and freedom and democracy. And as I learned more, I, I realized that, you know what, I actually understand citizenship for what it is. It's a social contract between the individual, the citizen, and the government, the nation. And I don't agree to the contract. I do not agree with paying into a tax system that's being used to murder my brothers and sisters halfway around the world based on a pack of lies. I don't agree with committing crimes against humanity, against my fellow human beings, using depleted uranium, using white phosphorus, dropping millions of gallons of Agent Orange on people. Uh, this is all insanity, and I want my name taken off that list. Ultimately, the United States takes the position that, uh, that we don't have that right, that I don't have the right to determine who I am politically, even though I've left the country 12 years ago. Uh, I don't pay taxes in the United States. I don't vote in the United States. Uh, they claim me as their property and think that I'm a U.S. citizen. So this actually gets to a deeper issue. Do we as human beings have the right to self-determination? Does the government determine my political status or do I?